Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. It has been a whirlwind of a week so far, and we're only halfway through it. We've just returned from the Leadership Summit on the Gold Coast, Australia. It's a beautiful place. It's a fantastic hotel that new skin put us up in. And what they do is once a year, we have this gathering of uh, the different leadership teams from the Pacific region, all in one place. And we get together, we have a lot of fun. We eat great food. We go to parties and dress up like we did here. For those wondering what on earth our costumes are, uh, that was uh, Bunnings Employees and they're a very popular company in Australia. The theme was Australiana, but that is a joke that many people will fly right over your head. Never mind, it's not important. What is important is that uh, we gained a lot of insight from this event. It's this fantastic opportunity for corporate to lay out the roadmap of what their plans are for the year ahead and the, the product launches, the incentives, uh, the projections, what's happening in the market, and just get all the leadership up to date so that we can uh, align our own personal goals with the, the company's vision and plans. And together we can create some synergy and move forward and help a lot of people as a result. There was a lot of that happening, but uh, as good as the information was that was on stage, because we had some very special guests come and speak and share their knowledge, it's the conversations that happen in between these events that I find most valuable. And I was very lucky to get to record one of these conversations. And that was with the guest speaker, Steve Hatchett. Now, if you're in the US, you probably know Steve Hatchett. Uh, elsewhere in the world, you may not know. I like to describe him as uh, the invisible hand <laughs> that has played a part in most of the products that we are using and sharing out there. He is, I, I got this wrong when I introduced him in the clip, which you'll see shortly. He was very gracious with that, that mistake that I made. He is an executive vice president, the chief product officer. And as a result, uh, he is one of the people who is really driving a lot of the innovation and uh, the roadmap of incredible products that are launching currently and also set to launch. So stay tuned for the end of this conversation. He drops a few bombs about what is is potentially coming to a market near you. It's really exciting. So Steve has an absolutely fascinating story. He has a wealth of experience outside of New Skin with his own companies. Uh, he is extremely successful in business and he's been collaborating or liaising with uh, New Skin for over 32 years now, I believe, but that's another story and I would love to share that at another time. Hopefully we can have a, a longer conversation if you guys enjoy this. I'm going to pass it over to Steve and we cover a few different things about uh, Well Spa, the difference between it and the Body Spa, uh, the medical classification in the US and what those new product lines potentially are that are coming very, very soon. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Okay, so I am here with Steve Hatchett, who is the Vice President of New Skin, also the Head of Product Development, if that is correct. Of course you, not. You, you wear a few hats there, <laughs> yeah, it seems. Uh, he is incredibly experienced with business, not just uh, within New Skin, but in his own business. Uh, prior to this, there's a fascinating story there. I'm not sure if we have enough time to go into all of that, but uh, very fortunate to grab a few minutes here in Australia with Steve today. So uh, I've got a few questions for you, if we can yeah. lay them on fast, Let's uh, do it. if possible. So with the Well Spa, uh, it has obviously many differences to the body spa and as you said just in that great presentation it's totally different it's, it's not just a, an updated body right. spa uh, the one question in particular is the the current is different to the body spa in regards to the strength of it it's my understanding is it's much stronger are you able to shed any light on how much stronger yeah. or uh, the current itself if you Sure. If that's your area? Sure, sure. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, happy to do it. And thanks for letting me have an opportunity to talk to you. Um, in fact, just a real quick endorsement. You're doing great work, by the way. And I love what you're doing. You're doing a fantastic job and appreciate how much you uh, professionally represent New Skin. So I really appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Regarding the current, it's what we call an adaptive current. And mm -hmm. that's really important because there's this, you know, the phrase is, you know, stronger isn't always better. And that's always the case. You know, uh, when Joe Chang and the scientists look at products, 
they constantly think about it from a safety standpoint and an effectiveness standpoint. It has to be effective, but we also make sure it's safe. And we know people are going to be using this in different parts of it. Not everybody's the same, different parts of their bodies, that type of thing. Yeah. So um, we want to make sure that's um, something that will be the most benefit. So our goal always is outcome being safe and effective. That's that's the key, okay? So don't think of it as a stronger current, think of it as a more effective current. Right. And what I mean by that is, um, for instance, if you look at the body swap, when it was originally designed, which was fantastic at the time, it had one current going one direction going into the body. It was basically just in. Yep. And you had no feedback loop back to it to say anything about whether it was going deep enough or too deep or right. anything like that. It just kind of went one of So it came at a certain level and it was, generally speaking, very good. It's got a great safety record, everything's fine, but it was kind of a one dimensional type of a way of looking at it. Yep. Whereas the well spa is what's called an adaptive current. As soon as it starts to uh, fill the impedance or resistance inside of our bodies you know so we have different layers of fat and different layers of muscle and different layers of water and so forth that's in different parts of our own bodies and so forth it adjusts for that based upon understanding where that is now there is uh, truth to the fact that if if you need to get more of a current it will actually drive it deeper in certain areas if you need it um, right. so that's that's true um, it actually is more so for instance than the body spa Yep. Um, but in many cases, it's a lot less than the body spa because it's a smaller area, smaller surface area, less tissue, less, and we want to make sure it's safe. It also, it makes these adjustments, by the way, it takes this uh, analysis, and it, uh, every single second it's measuring to see whether it's going deep enough, it's, if it's getting too much of uh, a pushback from an impedance standpoint, and so it's always making these adjustments. So it makes somewhere close to around between an entire treatment, like 25,000 adjustments it, it's every It's truly single time. remarkable, the, and when you click on the screen and it gives you yeah. that breakdown, I, that's one of my favorite features. Yeah. It's, it's so cool how yeah. you can actually demonstrate that immediately for yeah. someone as you're doing it over right. your body. I mean, the first thing I did, I think, in the video that, yeah. that you saw is I did on my arm and start showing that it's fluctuating and yeah. changing as I'm going over the brittle part and <laughs> all the sinew and all that. It's, so it, it's, it's, it's brilliant. So it, comparing that to the body spa where it's just the one constant kind of thing, it's um, and it's interesting how you say it may be weaker in, at some points because that's what the body needs right. and it'll adapt to it. So that's the key. It's not just that it's stronger in that's general. Correct. That's fallacy I guess exactly right. uh, okay so the, the next uh, science-based question is you mentioned that the renews power in the US is medical uh, class so got approval for that Correct. congratulations I understand that's a massive deal to go through and expensive as well and yeah. nerve-wracking um, is it a uh, class one class two uh, are there more details about that of what we can say about that yeah I mean the best thing I can say is this is that when we build our products we always try to build them towards a medical grade requirement yep. so that's what we've always done at yep. NewScan um, whether it's also on the nutritionals that's why Pharma X you know we kind of go to a firm we want to go to a standard that's higher than the tradition that's out there and so forth right. so what's interesting is when we took the technology and the design over to the US for the look at and review of course they're an independent governing body and they require certain stipulations for it to be registered within the United States. Right. And of course, uh, knowing Joe and the technology and the team, that they, they understand this and they understand the implications and so they made sure that it was ready. And most people didn't give us a chance to get it done in the same year that we submitted it. Um, but it's, fortunately, it's we usually a very lengthy it process, is, right? It it's, it's not just done. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But we were able, we had our ducks in a row and all credit to our engineers and our PhDs and the and entire science staff that yeah. uh, they, they really work midnight hours. You hear that a lot. You hear that thrown out. Oh, we yeah. worked really, really hard. No, they really gave everything. I mean, if you look at the document they submitted, it was just such a massive document. It wasn't just the volume, it was the level of detail and yeah. how it impacted the safety, the impact, what it was trying to do and all that sort of thing. That's, right. that's what's so important. That's what enabled us to get that approval. That is awesome. Okay, so that's, that's really what we, um, what we wanted to find out here, my arm is just dipping all over the place. This is going to be <laughs> the dodgiest video ever. You mentioned the difficulty of working within a publicly traded company right. and terrified that someone's going to record something, put it on YouTube, and it's, right. which is exactly what I'm doing here. Uh, <laughs> so this is a loaded question. Uh, for 2024, there were a couple of things that I saw within this image uh, that is extremely exciting. I mean, the well spot on its own is you don't have to release anything for years, I think. You, you guys have just smashed that. Uh, it's a, a home run. However, there were some things on there that uh, were talking about Vera, uh, 
Vera Mind. I heard uh, a whisper of something called Ocean. Uh, you and me. Is there anything you can maybe hint towards these sure. about what that might be about? So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm so glad you asked the question. I mean, for us, as you know, when we're thinking about product ideation and the way we work on the body, we want to think about it from a holistic standpoint. Mm -hmm. And you can have the strongest body in the world, but if you have a weak mind, it's very difficult to implement that body in an effective way. 100%. Whether it's mental acuity, whether it's cognition, whether it's the ability to um, deal with um, challenging times, stress, anxiety. We know we've been through a very stressful time recently. You know, people were sequestered in their homes almost as if they're cave dwellers now to a certain yeah. extent, and now they're coming out, and it's been very difficult transition. Yeah, very unnatural experience. Yeah. Reasons. I mean, even look at our children. I mean, they've had to go through an entire year some didn't even weren't able to walk and graduate and stuff like that in terms of being able to go out yeah. and participate in simple things that we took for granted before and it's exactly. it's Speech taken development, yes. all that sort of stuff. And, and relationships yeah, yeah. I mean I, I actually had a joke but real quickly I'll just say um, one time I was talking to somebody in their 20s and I I called them on the phone and they never answered and I called them three times they're an employee of mine oh, okay. and I, they didn't respond and and finally um, they text me and says, if you want me, text me. That's how I respond. And I, so I text them and said, please come to my office. Because <laughs> yeah. we have to have if a different discussion. A job. <laughs> but, but no, but seriously, I mean, they, they, that's intimidating sometimes for them to actually physically wow. talk live. They, they feel more comfortable texting. They feel more comfortable being a little bit of a touch. Even though it's hugely inefficient. It can be. And so I think we have to recognize the world's changed. Mm -hmm. um, this is a different world than we lived in yesterday. We have access to more information than we've ever had, but we have also have the other side of that, which is we have more access to everything, and so now comparisons and concerns and questions yeah. and stuff they didn't even know about. This this group over here had problems, and this group over here, and they've got all these challenges, and people are going, oh my goodness, this world, and they want to shrink away from it sometimes. In addition to that, we're always also trying to go to the maximum level of performance, uh, whether you're at school, whether you're athletics, whether you're gaming. I mean, you know, it's amazing. People are making careers out of gaming and so forth. Yep. So we have to be honest about what's happening in people's careers, people's lives. And so people, it all starts with the mind. In fact, I was coming over here on a plane and, and one of the things it said, it said, um, as it looked at athletes, it says the athletes go in an in inverted pyramid. Basically, you have the great athletes who were given gifts from, you know, their creator in terms of what their bodies look like. Mm -hmm. And then they come down to the people who actually have razor sharp and really try hard to make it great, and then there's ones who have a great mind. Those right. are the elites. Right. So it's not just having a great body physically and the ability to make it strong, but actually have a smart mind that's resilient, can withstand challenges and so forth. So with that in mind, we thought a really critical component of uh, New Skin would be focusing on cognitive health. And wow. so in 2024, you'll see a lot more come out of that. Um, okay. It's a code name as Ocean, as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, that's an internal discussion. It won't be the name of the product as it comes out and so forth. But um, Ocean being vast and can be calm, can be turbulent, can be all sorts of different things. Okay. Yeah. There's all sorts of um, you know, metaphors you can put there. But the reality is, is that what we want to do is we want to have a mind-body connection in a holistic way that's powerful, that's meaningful, that's that people feel like it's truly doing something that's helping them grow and empower them to deal with some of the challenges we've got right now in society so that is a really exciting feature right there because as you said uh, the mind connection is super important and for the athletes right now we have the Australian Open on in Australia oh, yeah. uh, so yeah. tennis and uh, the athletes are all on a very similar I mean they're all elite to be there you, you don't get there unless you're an elite athlete and yet it's the mental capabilities it seems those who can handle the stress and the pressure and the crowd moving against them all that they're coming out on top Absolutely. not necessarily the fittest that's or, right or the, the most skilled perhaps so if we can have something that can help people tap into that that is right. very very exciting uh, it, it just seems like we are approaching as always with New Skin, I mean, you came to the company from your origin story that you just yeah. shared with us 32 years ago when New Skin was transitioning into uh, internal products, not right. just the external products. And it feels like we're continuing to do that on a whole nother level now right. uh, with the inside outside approach. So it's just going to be something more on the inside, but mental yeah. inside, I guess. So. You know what's funny is in our studies, and of course, you know how Joe works, Joe Chang, our mm -hmm. PA, Rosie Beach. We've actually been working on these studies for quite some time. This isn't oh, something wow. we just came up with. As you know, I mean, yeah. Meta, it took us seven years to come up with Meta, and yeah. it was four clinical studies, researched at multiple different universities and so forth. I mean, this is how we do things with all these types of things. Yeah. 
with uh, these products, the clinicals are coming out. What's interesting to know is because we understand that compelling aspect of beauty and wellness and that integrative thought process, yep. we're finding implications on skin. Wow through these cognitive products. And what's happening is, is wow. one of the products, I'll give you a little teaser, it's not out there quite a bit, but think about rest and just sleep. Simple things about sleep. Most people are not getting enough sleep or the right type of sleep. And if you can start getting better sleep, if you can start getting more restful sleep, if, you, if your body's main ability to recover is in the nighttime, basically. It's got this repair mechanism that's going on. That's why you know it's going to work on our bones, on everything in our body, it's trying to repair. It's got that moment where it can do that. And if you're restless and you're constantly turning and you're not getting enough yeah. sleep and so forth, you're not getting that level of reparative work in your body. And yeah. so it stands to reason if people are getting bad sleep, then what else is going on? You got yeah, stress, exactly. anxiety, and you're not being able to recover from the different things. You're already you're behind the start line uh, so, before even trying to run the race. That's I just right. met a lady next to us on the plane yesterday who turns out she's a sleep coach. And I thought, oh. wow, sleep must be such an issue in it's the world true. that there are coaches now that yeah. are helping people to get to sleep. So if we can provide people with a solution in that area, very exciting times. If you look at, just real fast, I know it's, you're trying to wrap up here. I just wanted to mention that um, when you ask people what they think health is, mm -hmm. mental health is number one. Yeah. Mental health is number one. So, so a lot of people think, well, it's immunity or it's uh, you know physical well-being and feeling strong or vigorous or you know robust. Yeah. Or something. No, number one through a Euromonitor poll, I think it was twenty-four thousand people who were polled globally, and they wow. said uh, cognitive or mental health is number one, and what they perceive as what's healthy to you. Yeah. Okay, Steve, thank you so yeah. much for taking this time. Uh, dodgy little video in the corner here, but it's a pleasure awesome. to uh, get to chat to you a little bit and uh, find out about what's coming and what is just launching as well with New Skin. So thank you so much for what you guys do. We really appreciate it. It's incredible, the tools that you're giving us to go out and change lives. All right, guys, that's it for today. It was brief. I wanted to speak for a lot longer, but we were really constrained with time, and I'm so grateful that Steve gave so much of his time to share with me and all of you as a result. If you want to see a uh, longer conversation in the future, I would love to hear from you. Just drop it in the comments below, and we'll see what we can tee up. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on all that's happening with New Skin, because there's a lot of changes, there's a lot of new exciting things that are coming all the time now. And uh, I believe this channel is one of the best ways to do that. So hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be notified next time a video drops like this. And there's over 200, I think it's around 230 now, uh, videos in the library that you can go through and they will answer pretty much most of the questions that you will have on our new skin products and how to get the best results with them. And also some aspects of the business too. My name is Kurt Provost. I am your guide to all things new skin. If you want to reach out to me, you can find me on Facebook at Kurt Provost, Instagram by the same name, and uh, kurtnewskin at gmail.com, and I'll continue the conversation with you there. All right, ciao, guys.